Watch you guys, it's finally here. Windows 11 Enterprise LCSC 2024 has been officially announced by Microsoft. And as you can see, Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC is going to be installed onto this virtual machine. And I'll show you exactly what it's all about and the reason why I'm so excited because I think this will be probably my operating system that I will be using instead of your standard operating system. And the reason for that is because it is the de-bloated version of Windows, which has been released by Microsoft. And it's a lot better for people that don't want all of the unnecessary bloat installed on their system. So we're going to go ahead and install Windows 11 Enterprise 24H2. And this is going to be uh, released in 2024. So I'll go through here and show you exactly how we can install this onto a system. So if you're looking for an official super lightweight version of Windows 11, then this is it. It will be released in 2024. Now, while we're installing this, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Uh, head over there and create yourself an account and then use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've done that, you can submit your order and you can use uh, PayPal to pay for it. And they would then send you your key to your account and you can then activate your version of Windows just like you see right here. So I'm going to speed the installation part up here just to get to the part where we can get this set up and we will take a closer look. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to choose my language here and then go ahead and sign in options and choose the domain join instead here. Give myself a name here and we will be able to then set up a password if we want to. And then we'll be able to log into our version of Windows. So I'm just going to skip the password here and let this uh, go off and do some checks. Now we need to let Microsoft and apps use our location. I'm going to say no here. And again, I'm going to say no to all this stuff because this is where all of the data collection will be coming from. So I'm just going to turn off all of this and say no here. Of course, you can do all this inside the group policy if you wanted to, or you can use one of those programs to disable a lot of that stuff if you want to as well. So we'll just let this get a few things ready here and get us to the desktop. And then we can take a look at Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version and this is going to be released later on this year and the good thing about this it has a long-term service record which means we will be able to update Windows on this uh, machine for quite some time so once you get this installed you can turn off a lot of feature updates if you're not interested in feature updates and just receive security updates for a very long time without having to keep doing uh, feature updates and you can see there's hardly anything installed on this system and you can go ahead and remove uh, some other bits on here using uh, scripts if you want to and remove whatever you like. Again, we can uh, uninstall Edge here. I'm just going to go ahead. I've already got Google Chrome installed here. Make sure you install another browser before you remove Microsoft Edge. That's important. And I'm just going to quickly close off this uh, process here so I can uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge here because I don't want it on the system. Again, if you remove Microsoft Edge, some other uh, features won't work properly like Copilot. It does come uh, with the Copilot app on here, but it's not heavily embedded like it is on other versions of Windows. It's just there down on the bottom right. Uh, it's not embedded into Paint or any of that. I'll show you that a little bit later on. But I'm just going to quickly end task here for uh, Microsoft Edge here so we can uninstall this here. So let me go ahead and do that right here. And there we go. And it's going to warn us and say that it won't be available to other widgets. Now you don't get the weather widget on here or any of that sort of stuff. There's a lot of uh, de-bloating going on here from Microsoft. They haven't added in a lot of stuff inside here, which is a good thing uh, for people that don't want all that bloat in their system. And they don't want to go ahead and have to uninstall everything and do some tweaks because let's face it if you can use the system without having to go through all of that then that's a good thing now the good thing about this operating system is it hasn't had all of the tweaking that microsoft have been doing with the other operating system which is windows 11 your standard windows 11 you can see calculator is pretty much the bog standard calculator and it will be the same thing for notepad and a lot of other stuff on here it's not going to be highly polished and that's good because that means that you're not going to have all of the uh, bloat and all of the uh you know tampering with all of these feature upgrades for later on down the line so if you want just a bare essential uh operating system you can see this is 24 h2 
Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC. Uh, once this has been released to you and uh, you get it installed, you'll be able to run a very lightweight system without having all of the uh, bloat here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of this Copilot now because we've removed Edge. It's not going to work. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn this off. Now, when it comes to all your privacy uh, and security settings here, a lot of these have been debloated. Uh, the activity part only has one of these here. You can still turn this off in group policy as well, but normally you would have a couple of these here on your normal standard system. And that goes for a bunch of other privacy and security settings as well. They've been reduced quite a bit. And you've got uh, inking and typing personalization. A lot of this stuff can be turned off uh, again, in group policy, registry settings, and other things like that. I've showed you how to do all of this before. You don't have to use applications, but you can do if you want to. You can use programs like ShutUp10 or other applications to turn a lot of this stuff off. Again, all your diagnostic and feedback here, you can set this up how you like. And once this is done, it should be a pretty lightweight system. And, uh, and that's because it doesn't have all the other bloat inside here, like the Windows Store and uh, other things that have been embedded. And it's not getting constantly upgraded by Microsoft all the time like Windows 11 uh, is. So it's a good thing for that. And you can turn the actual feature updates off on this particular version. So I'm just gonna go through here and just show you here. You can turn all these off as well, just as you would with any of the other versions of Windows. Uh, but let me go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and turn off uh, the Copilot. Now, a thing to remember is if you do need uh, the Windows Store and things like that, all of this is not on the system. It won't be installed on here and because it's not seen as necessary for this particular operating system. So there is Copilot right here, and you can see there's a couple of little options here. We can change some of these. And uh, you've got Task View here. I'm just going to turn that off as well. So let's take a look at the... Uh, paint here so I'm going to go to search here type paint and we can open up paint now you can see already the web search has been uh, removed on here so we don't get web search forced on you and paint has got the old school paint on here it's not got any rounded edges it doesn't have copilot uh, embedded in here and same thing for notepad as well if you look at notepad it's just got the basic notepad here and that's because it doesn't have all of the feature upgrades that the normal Windows 11 version has. So this is just the standard uh, version. So Windows updates, again, you'll have more control over this version of Windows updates as well. Like I've said already, you can completely opt out of feature updates altogether and just receive security updates and stuff like that. Now, if we take a look also at the uh, File Explorer here, File Explorer has uh, still got the new version on it so let me quickly show you that and i'll quickly put file explorer down onto the taskbar here but basically that has got the tabs on it which is quite a nice added feature so that has got tabs on here as you can see no rounded edges on this version by the looks of it they're just square edges so it hasn't been polished completely so it's one of the earlier versions of it but that's okay and, uh, you know, as long as it's stable, which this is going to be a very stable version of Windows 11, this will be the version that they will release. It will be a very stable version. And uh, that's what you really want with an operating system. And there is your CPU and memory right there, your processes and stuff like that, which people get fascinated by for some reason. Generally, these go up and down on whenever you install stuff as well, but you can reduce that as well using scripts or you can use uh, some sort of uh, software to reduce it. There's plenty of them out there. I'm going to quickly use uh, my tweak script here and I'll run this on the system and reduce it right down and also remove other stuff and uh, do some other tweaks here. And all of this is completely reversible. So I'll quickly do this here and we'll take a quick look at the processes and stuff like that after I run this on the system. So I'm going to go ahead and run this on here. And uh, once we've done that, we can uh, take a quick look. I will need to reboot the system and we will then take a look at what we've got here. So I've quickly restarted the system after running my script. You can see we've got the dark theme mode added here. And we've also, we can see here, let's take a look at the CPU processes down to 65 now, which is quite impressive. And again, we've got utilization drop down here as well. 
And I'll quickly show you the memory settings. Some people want to see that as well. There we go. And the memory settings are pretty low as well. So all in all, a pretty decent uh, way of reducing those if you want to. A lot of the these services have been set to manual. And it's finally great to see some good news coming out of Microsoft with the release of the Windows 11 H2 uh, LTSC version. And again, the good thing about this is it's an official uh, version of Windows, what you're going to be getting. It's none of those super uh, lightweight like Tiny11 and other versions of Windows that have been released by complete strangers on the internet and had all the stuff ripped out of it. This is an official uh, lightweight version of Windows 11 released by Microsoft, and this is the version that I would recommend you use over any of those other custom ISOs that people stick up on the internet for you to download and use on your system. It's not advisable. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.